Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So if we have a look at the US markets, we've got a little hammer formation here on the day as we had a nice little retracement back down to potential support at 17,747, uh, which could be a springboard for the next move up. Looking at the end of the day charts on my other screen right here, um, you've seen a bit of a dip down, then a move back up to the upside across most other global markets. Looking at Germany 30, UK 100, and the uh, Japan 25 is still also doing quite well. So I guess the big question is, is are, are we going to be able to get back on a firm footing for, for equities? Um, are we going to see a slow grind back up towards all-time highs, uh, or are we going to see a little bit of a, a little bit of a sell-off as the markets get used to the idea that um, higher interest rates in December are, could have a potential impact on emerging markets and thus have a bit of an impact on some of the major markets as well? Certainly, this this sell-off that we've had is tiny in comparison to the move that we've had from the upside uh, from all the way down here to, to where we are just now. This is really nothing. Uh, from a trader's perspective, maybe we would like a little bit more volatility right now rather than have just a slow grind up to the top. It doesn't provide a lot of great opportunities, but um, right now where we are at 17,747, this could be an interesting point depending on your view on the US 30. So then jumping on to the UK 100 is looking a bit more ugly. So we've had that neckline break that we talked about, uh, broke through potential um, support yesterday. Again, it's it went all the way down, closed pretty much on that level of 6,300. Um, so we had not really had that close below. We're trading below the 21 period SMA, above the 55 period. The other technicals are looking a bit ugly. Um, if you were to take the tip of this candle to the bottom of this neckline, you are probably looking at around about 6,200 uh, as a, a, if you take classical measurement, uh, classical technical analysis measurement techniques, you apply that distance to the um, break line, ne break the neckline. Uh, so it could be a little bit further to go if we get any more negativity. UK 100 is quite interesting, obviously, because you've got the mining stocks, and oil stocks, and commodity prices aren't exactly uh, rebounding very strongly at the moment. So uh, that's one thing to bear in mind. Japan 25 doing um, a good job. Dollar yen uh, it's actually not doing a huge amount. 123 is still a high, but it's not pushing on higher. Um, more disappointing data out of China. Uh, are they going to do more stimulus in Japan? Certainly, we've got a proper technical breakout ha uh, happening in Japan, 225, uh, and we're not that far away from 20,000, so that's going to be the next potential target price uh, that traders will be looking at. So then, looking at J dollar yen, and we've had three days there of, uh, of a failure to break higher. Uh, the, more, the longer this continues on, the more likely we're going to have a kind of drift back down towards 121.87. Don't really want to have that. We have been lower this morning, uh, looking at the daily candle, uh, but it's pushed on back higher. So it could be kind of interesting if we're able to get into positive territory, because then that that could be an indication that this market's willing to look towards the next potential resistance at 124.42, uh, though it's not happened as of yet. So West Texas crude uh, flatlining, grinding a little bit lower. Uh, is a little bit unexciting at the moment. Crude oil inventories are due on Thursday instead of Wednesday at the moment. $42 remains a potential support. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, you've got a high and a lower high. As it feels like it might just be a slow grind down until we get some uh, macro data to change uh, people's views. So looking at gold, it seems to be hovering uh, right about this uh, 1,090 level. Uh, if we do get any retracement, $1,100 is a, from a technical perspective, that is a, an important level. Either if you've got a bearish view on gold, some people might look, look at the opportunity to go short. If you think that the, um, the move has been overdone, then um, certainly you can uh, look at that as a potential breakout level should we begin to get more upwards momentum. So that's currently where we are on the yellow metal. Um, then jumping on to euro dollar, it has retraced back up to one spot 0786, only to get pushed back down again. This level also equally important for euro dollar, very strategic level for traders dependent on your view on the common currency. Now finishing up with GBP USD, it's had a strong retracement back up to one spot 5185. Similar view, if this level is still acting as potential uh, resistance, uh, plus broken support, now expect to act as resistance. You can see it's pretty much bang on hit that this morning. Uh, we've had a decent like, little rally on there. Actually, it does look like the dollar has lost a little bit of momentum at the moment, um, but this is a, an, an important level. Um, if we do get a break up, a breakout, uh, it'll be one spot 54.24 is the next potential resistance. Otherwise, if we have a failure to breach, 
uh, one spot 48 13 is the next potential support so economic data wise you've already had a raft of Chinese data come out yeah, it's, some of its beat expectations have only just missed expectations on the level nothing special you've got UK employment claims data today it's Thursday is probably your best bet for data. You've got German CPI, you've got Eurozone industrial production, employment claims, and uh, crude oil inventories. Uh, so that's got a little bit more action on there. So guys, as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.